Hey, what's good, everybody? Queen Common Sense coming back to you from the Shy Town, holding it down. And I'm um, coming back to you because of, you know, we've been trying to end this gender war and um, come together as a people, as a nation, so that we can, you know, stop being so divided and so irrational and so emotional and stop acting so ugly among us and uh, it's very important to, to do that because we always talk about give us us free we want to be free we tired of being held down by the man the woman and whoever else is in the powers that be so that's why I'm doing it, and um, I had uh, I had um, petitioned everybody to do a little assignment in my last video, and I asked for five little questions to see if you know we all can check in and uh, come together and see what similarities we have within you know our bloodlines and things like that. So I hope y'all working on that. And I hope soon to see some posts from lots of you, all of you, many of you. Tell me some of the answers to those questions that I asked in my last video, Heal the Nation, Part A. Now, you know, th this is a little bit away from that, but still underneath the same umbrella. Uh, regarding our, our, our behavior towards one another as men and women, melanated Nubian brothers and sisters. Because, you know, like I said, in real life or on the internet, I see a whole lot of dumb shit going back and forth and around. And, and it must stop, cease. Now, and I was thinking, and I was talking to my husband and a couple other real intelligent, strong brothers that I know. And, you know, I was kind of throwing some points out there. And um, I said, you know, it's, it's taking care of the nation and the village amongst our people, black folk. It's, it's kind of like a chess game. And it also resembles a lion's pride. You know, the, the lion in the jungle, Mufasa, Sarabi, and them. They all work together to keep the community tight. And their main objective is covering the cubs and the goddamn queen. Right? Now, I know a lot of women, just like a lot of men, you know, some of us have a lot to be desired when it comes to covering the queen on the chessboard or in the pride, the lioness. But that's what we talked about now. This is why I'm bringing it up, because of that reason. Because we do have a lot to be desired. We all need to work on ourselves each and every day to improve our standards, our morals, our dignity, and self-respect so that others will be willing to reciprocate that with us. And the whole idea is putting the black family back together. The mama, the daddy, and the children stay in the house together and... The, one, the mama, the queen, keep her ass in her lane. And we let the king, Mufasa, do his damn job so we can go out and be the lioness and take care and tend to our brood, our cubs, our litter. So that Mufasa can do what the fuck he's supposed to do. Otherwise, guard the perimeter. 
make sure everything's secure and uh, come on back home, you know, once he bring back what he need to bring back. Because you notice about the male pride, the, 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 the lion and the lioness pride, you watch him closely, study him, read about him. You know, the African people, the African family is a lot like that, you know. And the, the, the male in the group, he is surveilling the perimeter of that pride. And sometimes he can go up to six miles out of the, of the perimeter of their pride, where their den is. And he is constantly taking inventory. Or what motherfucker done cross that line? You feel what I'm saying? So he working hard to make sure his wife, Lioness the Queen, is secure and safe while she's tending to her cubs. And there are other males within that pride for other various reasons. And when... He comes home back from checking the perimeter and chasing away all the things that are too dangerous to come within that six, seven mile radius of their den, their pride. You know, he's, you see the male lions kind of just chilling out. They really don't do much while they at the crib, right? And the lioness, she does the hunting. She does the short trips she'll go out snatch something up for her babies and the rest of the pride to eat and she has that job and she sticks to her fucking job and she's at home with her cubs with her babies i hope y'all see where i'm going with this and i might have to do two parts because i want to talk about the pride and i want to talk about the damn chessboard so, follow with me because this is a metaphor. And we're going to break it down. So, when the mama lioness, Sarabi, go out and grab the, the zebra and bring it back to her babies and her other relatives, the male lion is kind of just kicking it. He really don't hunt too tough unless she pregnant, can't really run, about to deliver, or right after delivery of her cubs. Once the cubs get up some size and get up to moving around on their own, then she go back out hunting. But she bring her ass home. Do you see what I'm saying? So you just correlate that and parallel that with the female and her babies. And some of us put the cart before the horse and we had children before we found Mufasa. But that's okay. Because there's still ways to work around that and still take care of the cubs and watch over the den until you find or meet up with Mufasa that you need. So, you check out the chessboard. You got two ends, two players in chess. <clears throat> but you look at all the pieces on the chessboard. And who is the baddest bitch on the chessboard? The female. The queen. Right? Cover the fucking queen. The queen can go any kind of way she want on the chessboard. Right? And the king can only hop vertical or horizontal one step at a time. Right? That's a reason why your king can't go too far away from the queen. Because that's his secret weapon. See? That's why they say check and checkmate. So, when you have <clears throat> your king and your queen on the board, you have to make sure the queen is covered. And that means we don't move until we ne it's necessary for us to move on the chessboard. That's why we got the pawns, the bishop, the knight, and all them other ones surrounding us. And we at the back, in the middle, next to the king. 
And once we expel and expound and get rid of all our other members of the board, we in big trouble, right? So that must mean the king can't go too far away from the queen to cover her. I'll be back with part two.